Hey Internet, I'm Eric Byrne. It's Vlogmas Day 17. Let's get into it. I had another busy day today, taking Jen to some medical appointments and just running around town. We accomplished a great deal. To keep it quick, let's go right into it. Well, I'm out today taking my wife to rehabilitation for her hand after the surgery, and she's doing really well. In fact, just dropped her off and was actually back here in the, uh, in sort of the open courtyard access to the to the inner atrium area, not really atrium, but inner courtyard, as you can see back here. And as I was walking back, I noticed this, this uh, metal stairwell. And I can't turn the architect off me, you'll notice it. <laughs> it's, uh, it's rusting out pretty uh, pretty badly here. It's, I mean, entire holes uh, down to the, to the interior of the stairwell. Um, it seems to be just a, an emergency exit. It doesn't really go to anything significant. Yeah, I do a lot of the, uh, the running around with Jennifer when she's got um, medical needs, um, doctor's appointments. Uh, that's one of the nice things of having our nephew starting to stay with us is he'll be able to take her on some of these excursions. So that'll be nice. She has them routinely enough that it's something I have to always factor in. Um, but it lets me get out in the world you know, I was, was going to share the uh, the courtyard here. <clears throat> uh, you can tell that people have fun with it because there's a there's a, a barbecue, or actually just the grill, right there. But it's rather it's rather nice. You know, I'll, I'll just swing the camera around and you can see. Nice little courtyard, little bench. It's very quiet. Be a nice place to have an office. It's even got a Panera over there in the corner. Uh, we, in fact, we just came from a blood test because she's getting ready to go to her nephrologist, which is also scheduled later this week. We're getting a lot of stuff in before the end of the year, and uh, we kind of try to spread it out. So, you know, if we if I put it all in one calendar week, it'd be you know, all we'd do is live at offices. <laughs> but anyway. I uh, wanted to share some of the excursions, some of the things I do when uh, when Jen's having appointments or sessions or hand therapy or physical rehab or any number of um, medical procedures. So fun stuff. But hey, I'm I'm I make an outing of it, and it's it's neat. You get to see interesting places like this, interesting courtyards. So there we go. Yeah, it's a, it's actually a very nice courtyard. Very relaxing. And on such a <laughs> warm day, um, I could almost see myself coming out here to have a sandwich or drink some tea. A lot of the buildings around here are two stories, so there's actually, again, here's another stairwell. And this one's kind of in similar shape, although, not rusting, not rusting through. Yeah, here's a few more views of the, the courtyard. Some of the towers in the two-story portion. It's very relaxing back here. Interesting building, a lot of nice architectural detailing, like even the uh, the rounded arch into the extra door here. And they've got some empty office spaces, so it's a possibility. 
Actually, a nice view coming out under the colonnade here. I'll, I'll flip the uh, camera around so everyone can see. No, I, I'm, I'm not a giant. That's, that's really how short these light poles are. I mean, that's maybe seven feet. I was going to point out that even though it's very warm today, again, in the mid 50s, um, down in this protected walkway, there is still some leftover snow and ice that hasn't quite melted yet. Oh, it's been an, over a week since we had snowfall. So, interesting bit of persistent ice there. Oh, he's adorable. Oh, I love his little bow. He's gray and he's got a burgundy bow. He wants to go home. Hey, these are hot. Well, I went for 10 and get one for 50%. I need to get by at least something. <laughs> I, I, think, I, think, I still think the, uh, the sequin unicorn is what's adorable. That's very cute. You... Oh, I like this monkey. Oh my gosh, check this out. These are so cute. Perfect Jeez. for the dogs for Christmas. Oh, no, that I could, that I could definitely see. Uh... Oh, there are 10 and then the other one's 50% off. Oh, I mean, they're... We could get a, a pink critter and a monkey, or there's a bear or a pink critter. With hopes and prayers for all good things, happy birthday, Gene, from Tom. That's me. <laughs> yep. That's a very nice card. I like the picture. For all good things. Happy birthday? Yeah, happy birthday. For all good things. Happy birthday. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, exactly. Well, we had a very good visit with uh, Jennifer's mom at the nursing home. She's uh, very happy, very comfortable. Uh, don't know how much she understood, but it was great to drop off a teddy bear and a birthday card. She's 88, and it was, it was fun. Uh, it can be a little tough uh, knowing that she doesn't really recognize you or, or know who you are, and that she will forget you within a few minutes, but it was great to see how well she's being taken care of. Uh, they're about to take her back to dinner, sun setting, so we are uh, on our way to get food ourselves. So it was a good, it was a good, um, good visit. I'm glad I did it. Alzheimer's can be an, um, a tough disease to deal with, and Jean has done remarkably well. It was diagnosed very early, and so she has um, been taken care of um, very nicely. So, for having to deal with Alzheimer's, uh, I think it's gone, it's played out as well as can be expected. Yeah, losing a parent to Alzheimer's is um, is a tough process because uh, one of the best descriptions I've heard is that it's uh, the person slowly dies uh, but never really leaves you and so eventually the person's dead uh, but st still there and all the memories you share all the familiar um, touch points all the all the elements that make that person that person to you are lost and um, you lose the history you lose the connections so it's it's um it's very hard to go through that and of course a lot of people deal with this and so it, you know, it doesn't really need to be said but uh, when it's your mother it's uh, especially poignant so yeah that's why Jen didn't come along because it really wasn't it really isn't um, something that she gets value, <clears throat> gets value from, <clears throat> gets value from, you know, I'll say, I'll, I'll get it out eventually, um, because that's really not her mother, 
and uh, it stings too much. But it's the holidays, and it's important, and I documented it. Well, we did finish the day by going to dinner with Jen's dad. The nephews came along, we had a great time. And uh, again, to keep this video as short as possible, I'll end it there. Uh, share any special events that you did with your family during the Christmas time. Anyway, looking forward to tomorrow. Take care, guys.